thanks for joining me for this workout today. My name is Mandy, if it is your first time here. Today we are going to be doing a glute or booty workout with ankle weights. However, the ankle weights are 100% optional. You do not need them at all. So either no equipment or ankle weights and you're gonna get an awesome workout for that backside. So let's go ahead and get started in tabletop today. <sighs> Take your knees right under the hips, wrists under the shoulders, inhale, lower your stomach, lift the chin. Exhale, round it out. One more time, let's take that belly down. Exhale, round. And then come to a flat back. Extend your right leg and bring it through in between the hands. If you need to lift a hand, no problem, okay? Let's just stretch into those hips for a moment and set your booty back. Toes are up, heart reaches to the toes, okay? And hinge forward. And then rock it forward and send that right foot back. Left leg extends, pull that guy through. Hold in your low lunge and then set the booty back. Remember your toe is up here and your chest is forward. Great, rock forward and table top it out. Okay, if the wrists ever get tired, you can go ahead and come down to your forearms, that is fine. Let's pull the stomach up, flex the abs, keep a flat back and point your right foot straight back behind you. We're gonna lift and tap. Toes are long and we wanna move with control so you can feel the resistance on your way up when you squeeze the right side and on your way down when you're supporting that weight and the rest of the leg, okay? But you're gonna get the most out of that squeeze at the top, so you wanna put all of your energy into that. Six, five, four, three, two, lift it up and draw a circle, really tiny little quarter size circle on the wall behind you. Toes are long. Already the tush is burning, most likely. Make that small circle. Five, four, gaze right down at the ground. Two, and one. Bend your knee, point the toes up and lift. Okay, heel is pulled in tight. Imagine you have a rubber band, strap in that um, shin down toward your thigh, squeezing tight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Keep your knee up and go a little bit out to the side, flex your obliques, and then back to center. A little out and back to center. So it's not quite that fire hydrant, kick out to the side, but you're close. Squeeze and back, squeeze and back. It is normal for your standing leg to start to feel this. Four, three, two, level off your hips and drop that knee down, Toes to the ceiling, knee down, toes to the ceiling. Now notice how I've got a steady breath and I'm looking right down at the mat to keep my spine and back flat. It's so still, a glass of water could rest back there. Five more, four, three, two, lift up, flex your heel and kick that booty, kick. Hamstrings, we're about to stretch this guy. Don't worry about your standing leg. It's almost time for it to take a break. Lift your heel up a little bit more because I sense it was falling at home. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop your knees. Send that tush over to the left. Breathe into it. And then send it over to the right. Breathe into it. Very good, come back to the center. When you're ready, reset. Option to go down to your forearms, left leg goes straight back, lift and tap. You can go at my pace or a little faster or a little slower. Hips are facing the ground. Try to relax your jaw. Lift and tap, lift and tap. I just noticed I had let my core go, so let's flex that again. Four more, three, two, hold that leg up, you got it. Draw your little quarter size circle on the wall behind you, it's really small. You can barely see that my leg is moving, but my toes are long, I'm lengthening it out as much as I can. 
and flex in the cheek to get the leg to circle. Five, four, three, two, and it's time to point the toe up and pulse. Remember your rubber band that is pulling that calf down toward the back of your thigh. You're squeezing in tight. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop the knee and press. We go down and press. We just want those knees to kind of meet each other and then lift back up. The kick is coming soon. Lift and lower. Four, three, great job. Two, lift up and hold, flex your heel and kick, kick. Great job. I know you're getting nice and toned back there. The hamstrings and the glute muscles lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold it. Take that knee a little out to the side because we forgot that part earlier and back. A little to the side and back. Then we'll stretch. You thought I was going to forget, but I didn't. A little to the side and back. You can feel this flex in your obliques and in your lower back just a bit. Four, three, two, close that knee and lower it. Right side, lean into it, stretch it out, deep breath in, exhale, switch your swing over. And perfect, come back to neutral. I'm gonna go ahead and face you, but you, or actually I'll face a little bit diagonal. All right, we're gonna drop down to the left forearm. Okay. So reset here, left forearm. From here, I want you to take this right leg, lift it up and extend it out, close. Kick out, close. Perfect. Try to keep yourself from leaning too far into your standing leg, okay? Really try to press down into this right hand to even out the body, strong kick and lower. The more 90 degrees you can get it, the better. There you go. Four more. Three, two, this is gonna be tough. Lift that leg out, extend it. Good job. Hold it there. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Close and just lift and lower. Little fire hydrant kick out to the side. Lift, lower. Perfect. We are keeping the waist really flexed during this whole process, okay? Five, four, three, good job, two, lift that leg, hold, take it straight back behind you and then knee into your tricep like a crunch, reach back, little side crunch, in, I can tell you what, your tush is going to be sore tomorrow, <laughs> that is for sure, four more, three, two, maybe that's just me, last one, lower that leg, down. I'll give you a better stretch, but immediately let's go ahead and switch to the other side. Right forearm down, left hand planted, and we start with that little kick. Big kick actually, not little. Big kick out to the side. Perfect. Press into your left hand to even out the weight. Gaze down at the mat. Kick and lower. Kick and lower. This video, it's not long, okay? So you can make it through. Five, four, three, two, lengthen it out, hold. Let it burn, let it burn. Woo wee, I am on fire. Four, three, two, one, close the knees. Take a little break if you need it, it's okay. And lift that leg out to the side, fire hydrant. Perfect. Feel your backside getting sculpted with every lift and lower, lift and lower. Four more, three, two, here's that time. Lift the leg up, reach it straight back and give me that little waist crunch. Pull it in, reach back, pull it in, reach back. Your stretch is coming, give me your crunch. Just give me four, and then you're done. You can do three more of anything. Two more is nothing. Last one, and you're done. 
relax. Woo. All right, swing your legs around to the front because you need a really good stretch. Take them out and roll onto your back. Oh, knees into your chest, let that sigh out. Cross your right leg over left, making a figure four and draw that knee into the chest. You're at home, you can let out that sigh. I know it feels like, oh my gosh. Pull the knee in nice and close and then take your tailbone and kind of press the tailbone down into the ground. That's gonna deepen it. Take another deep breath in. Squeeze a little bit more firmly into your chest. You guys crushed that booty workout with ankle weights or no ankle weights, whatever. I know it was tough. Let's undo, switch left over right, pull it in, figure four. So your hands are at the back of your thigh, draw them in close, and tailbone drops into the ground. <sighs> nice deep breaths. Exhale. Very good, another deep breath in. And exhale. Great job. Release and roll out your ankles and toes here. Take them all the way around, maybe a little flex and release and rock it up to seated. Woo. Thanks so much for joining me in this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to drop a comment below and tell me what you liked the best. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate that. Have an awesome day, guys. Peace.